Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is July 29th, 2024, and we have some fascinating updates for you from the world of Tesla and beyond. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Elon Musk has announced that Tesla will begin selling its Optimus humanoid robot in 2026, with initial low production for internal use starting next year. The robot has already been performing tasks autonomously at Tesla facilities, such as handling batteries. Musk estimates that the long-term demand for general-purpose humanoid robots could exceed 20 billion units, driven by both consumer and industrial needs. However, he cautioned that timelines are subject to change, as previous projections for Optimus have faced delays. The humanoid robotics market has evolved significantly since the Optimus was first unveiled in 2021, with increased investment and interest spurred by the pandemic and advancements in generative AI. Several competitors are also making strides in humanoid robotics, including companies like OneX, Agility Robotics, Aptronic, Boston Dynamics, Figure, and Sanctuary AI, each at different stages of development and commercialization. OneX has secured substantial funding and is developing robots for household tasks, while Agility's Digit has moved beyond pilot phases into real-world applications. Aptronic is collaborating with Mercedes-Benz for warehouse pilots, and Boston Dynamics is preparing to pilot its new electric Atlas robot in factories by 2025. Figure has raised significant capital and is set to pilot its robot at a BMW factory, while Sanctuary AI is testing its humanoid with automotive manufacturer Magna. The industry is still in its early stages, with many challenges ahead before achieving true general-purpose robots. Tesla's construction of a unique supercharger, diner, and drive-in theater site in Los Angeles is nearing completion, with nearly nine months of work underway. The project, which began in September 2023, has shown significant progress, as documented by the YouTube channel 247 Tesla. The diner will feature a 1950s theme, complete with waiters on roller skates and the ability to order food from vehicles. It will also include two drive-in movie screens showcasing classic films. Originally envisioned by CEO Elon Musk in 2018, the project faced delays but gained momentum after receiving necessary approvals. The location was shifted from Santa Monica to West Hollywood, and the diner is dubbed Millaways, inspired by a fictional restaurant from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The site plans indicate that it will have around 32 charging stalls, allowing customers to dine while their vehicles charge. Recent updates show the construction site taking shape, with various stages of development captured in video updates. The diner aims to provide a unique experience for Tesla drivers, combining dining and entertainment with electric vehicle charging. As the project approaches completion, excitement builds for this innovative addition to the Tesla ecosystem. Meta, Tesla, Andreessen Horowitz, and OpenAI are among the few companies hoarding significant quantities of NVIDIA's H100 GPU chips, which are crucial for AI training. Meta has announced it aims to stockpile 350,000 H100s, potentially worth over $10 billion, to support its AI initiatives, including the recent launch of its Llama 3.1 model. Each H100 can cost between $20,000 and $40,000, and Meta reportedly used up to 16,000 of these GPUs to train its latest model, amounting to around $640 million in hardware costs. Tesla, led by Elon Musk, is also accumulating H100s, with plans to have between 35,000 and 85,000 by year-end, while Musk claims that his AI company, XAI, has a training cluster of 100,000 H100s. This has led to controversy, as Musk faces a lawsuit from Tesla shareholders for allegedly diverting GPUs meant for Tesla to XAI. Andreessen Horowitz is renting out over 20,000 H100s to AI startups in exchange for equity. The demand for H100s is so high that there are reports of individuals being paid to smuggle them into China to evade US export controls. OpenAI's GPU strategy remains less clear, as they reportedly rent a powerful training cluster from Microsoft, which includes the equivalent of 120,000 previous-gen A100 GPUs. NVIDIA has not commented on the situation, and the other companies involved have not responded to inquiries.
The United States has lost its competitive edge in the electric vehicle EV market to China, despite being home to Tesla, the world's most valuable EV manufacturer. In 2016, the US led in the number of EVs on the road, but China has since surged ahead, now dominating the global EV landscape. The author attributes this shift to China's aggressive and focused policies on electrification, which have allowed it to rapidly scale production and innovation in the EV sector. While Tesla initially set the stage for EV adoption, the US has struggled to maintain momentum, facing challenges such as regulatory hurdles, supply chain issues, and a lack of cohesive national strategy. In contrast, China's government has heavily invested in infrastructure and incentives to promote EV adoption, leading to a flourishing domestic market. The article suggests that the US must reassess its approach to EVs, focusing on collaboration between government and industry to reclaim its position in the global market. Overall, the piece highlights the importance of strategic planning and investment in technology to compete effectively in the rapidly evolving EV industry. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. We hope you found these updates as intriguing as we did. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more insights and news from the world of Tesla and beyond. Stay charged and drive safe.